through calibrating a dry adder feeder. First we want to do is set up our recipes. So on the main screen, go to recipes, recipe editing. If you don't have a recipe set up, select recipe one. This option you can have, you can change your name, followed by unit of measure. This is the measure of which you're going to put your product onto the seed. Today we have it set up as grams per hundred weight. Next is calibration ratio, which we'll get to in a minute, followed by product per seed, and that's how much product we're going to put on per, per seed. So we're going to, today I have it set up for 22 grams per hundred weight. And then lastly is seed flow rate. This is the flow rate of your treater that you're running. So I have our treater set up for a thousand pounds per minute. Once this is set up, we can go back to the main screen. On the main screen, you'll see current RPMs. This is the current RPM that the, the motor is currently running, followed by target flow rate. This is just the information we set up in, under your recipe. So 22 grams per hundred weight times 1,000 pounds per minute will give us 220. Next is calculated flow rate. This is going to be how fast our, our dry out of feeder is running compared to what flow rate we want to achieve. We'll go back to the HOA screen, again at 20%, turn it on by hand. At this point we can see that our current low end is 130 and we need to be at 120. So now we can adjust the speed up to match that, that flow rate. So from the HOA screen, we can adjust that percentage from 20 to, let's just say, 35. We go back to that main screen, we'll see that that calculated flow rate adjusted up to 229, and it's very close to that 220 that we're looking for. So at this point, we're ready to calibrate. We can turn off the unit, go back to the main screen, reset our runtime, reset our totalizer, at this point, we need to put product into the dry out feeder, so that way, that way we can fill the, the auger up with product. Once we add product to the, the hopper, we need to turn on the HOA screen, turn it on in hand, and begin to fill the auger to catch, catch our product. Once we have catch, we need to zero it out on our scale. Note that I have this in grams, the same unit of measure that we're measuring our, our product in. If you're using ounces, please use ounces as a unit of measure. For your so once we get to about a minute, I know we ran a little longer, but we can go about a minute. We can shut this off. Now we can see we totalized 305 grams, and we ran for about 80 seconds. At this point, we need to go to recipes. Recipe editing, the recipe that we that we have selected, and calibration. Our actual weight is going to be the weight we caught in our catch. So that was around 307 grams. And then the totalizer weight is going to be what this totalizer number is here. So this totalizer says we caught 305. So we need to put that number in to totalizer weight. Once we have that number, we'll see that we have a, the calculated ratio is updated, and we need to hit apply to update the current ratio. Now that we can see that the calibra calibration ratio is updated to 101, we can hit save, and we can repeat the process to verify that our calibration is correct.